Hey everybody, um, hope you're having a good day. I um, wanted to post up another short video today on uh, some work I'm doing on this 2332cc VW engine. Um, what I was going to talk about a little bit today is balancing of the so-called rotate rotating assembly, which is the crankshaft, the connecting rods, the pistons, the piston pins, piston rings, etc. Um, generally, depending on the type uh, of engine going in a Volkswagen and the intended usage of it, um, you know, there's there's specifications on this this concept of balancing your um, your top end, your pistons, and everything, so that you've got the smoothest running engine. Um, stock engines can get away with, at least from what I've heard, having everything uh, more or less within 5 grams of each other piston-wise. Um, the higher RPMs you turn, the more the uh, importance of having everything matched becomes. And with my engine being that it's going to be a 2332, um, it's going to have these 94 millimeter Molly pistons that you see in front of you um, that are on the screen right now. Those are going in it and I have found at, that at least out of the box um, they varied upwards of four to four and a half grams um, which was just not really what I would call acceptable and so um, Here's the box they came in, the CB Performance 1082, I think it's the part number, Molly, 94 millimeter B pistons. They're made for 82 millimeter and up strokes. Um, anyway, so they came with about a four and a half gram difference between the heaviest piston and the lightest. And I undertook some um, grinding on these. These are forged aluminum pistons to get them within about a gram of each other and so what I've got here on this chart is um, what I started with the number one piston was the lightest at 387.6 grams the number two piston was 392.3 number three was the next lightest at 389 grams even Number four came in at 392.1, so there was a little bit of variation there. Um, and again, this is just the pistons, not the not the piston pins, not the little clips that hold the pins in, and not the rings. This is just the slug, if you will, of themselves. Uh, these were the weights, and so what I attempted to do was to get the weight of all uh, all four within a gram of each other and so I did some grinding um, I think that the biggest variance now is number four um, after after I did the grinding it's now coming in at about 388.6 grams which is about a gram heavier right on the nose um, with the number one so anyway um, and like I say we're shooting for less than or no greater than one gram here so uh, I endeavored to achieve that I noticed that the ring packs all came in at 38.1 grams the piston pins there was just about no variance there there, there may have been 0.1 gram depending on the mood that the scale was in <laughs> um, but the piston pins were right around 134.4 grams the little clips were all 1.8 grams for you know each pair of clips for each piston pin and the H beam connecting rods remember I've got CB performance forged chromoly connecting rods uh, five and a half inches um, all of those were you know between uh, 607.3 and 607 606.7 grams so about a 0.6 grams difference between the heaviest rod and the lightest I'm not too worried about any of that so from what you see here all of my work uh, had to go into the pistons themselves the slugs 
and it's been a learning experience for me. I've never really tried to do any weight matching on pistons before, uh, but these these SEMA 94s, let's see, I don't know if you can see it in the in the screen here, that's supposed to say 93.93. Um, I apologize for the poor focus here. Uh, numbers, let's see, numbers 2 and 4 had to have the most material removed from them. So, uh, again, I'm no expert at this. I don't have a mill. I don't have a lathe or anything like that. What I do have is a hand drill um, and then some carbide burr bits uh, from Eastwood here. Um, if I get this open, I'll show you what I used. I guess I kind of, here we go. I switched off between using this burr bit. It's, uh, it started as a six inch long and I cut, cut it down. Um, and then for a little bit fine tuning, I used one of the remaining six inch uh, with this little ball on the end of it. But um, I used those in combination with my 2500 RPM drill trying to keep it uh, not for, not not getting away from myself not letting it spin too fast um, mistakes happen when those you know when you let the uh, drill turn too fast anyway I went under these pistons and I went to the thickest part of the piston where there's the most meat if you will right under the pins going towards the crown of the piston and I just ground away, ground, ground, ground. And uh, I will say that, you know, it's, it's four grams, to remove four grams from these aluminum pistons um, is a lot more challenging than you might think. It's, uh, they're, they're fairly heavy. And what looks like a lot of grinding ends up really not taking that much off. So you have to spend some time. But... I went to where the piston was the thickest, which like I say was at the crown, and I tried to grind there and keep my work confined to that. And uh, like I say, I was able to get, you know, three and a half, th three, three to four grams, uh, three to three and a half grams off of each of these pistons. So I'm happy with that. Uh, number three. Number three was the second lightest, and it needed the least amount of work. You can see I just barely had to touch up the piston, um, the bottom of the piston pin by the crown uh, to get, get it within spec. There's these little pin bosses, too, on these pins. I don't know if you can see it on the camera here, but the shiny area, they make a raised bump when you get these pistons. That doesn't, if you grind that off, it honestly doesn't, at least it didn't seem to take off more than about a quarter of a gram. It didn't do a lot. And so uh, I was a little bit disappointed with that. But fortunately, there was um, a suitable place to take material from. And so anyway, um, what we're going to do with these pistons, now that they are within one gram of each other, we're going to get ready and put those on the engine. And I'll, I'll take another video when I get started doing that, we're going to put them on for probably what will be the next to last time um, for trial fitting and putting the heads back on and then finishing up with the rocker geometry. So more to come on that and I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you found this little bit of information presented today helpful and I will be talking to you guys all soon. Thanks for watching and uh, remember to like and share and comment on this. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you find this of interest. Um, we're going to be, you know, looking at lots of things about Volkswagens and building engines and cars. So stay tuned. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.